At the public inquiry into foreign interference, the director of CSIS said his agency had intelligence ahead of the 2019 federal election that the government of China attempted to funnel through a network approximately a quarter of a million dollars, possibly to interfere in Canadian elections. Global News first reported on this activity in 2022, citing national security sources. And today the Commission received a summary of classified material produced by CSIS that includes many of the details Global News first reported. Our chief political correspondent, David Aiken, has the details. David. Well, Donna, CSIS director David Vigneault put this information before the public inquiry with a caveat that this is an intelligence summary and that these are not necessarily a collection of facts, but rather intelligence snapshots collected by CSIS analysts that might require further investigation and context. This information now is in the public domain. And so these are important words of, of, of caveats and context I think are, are relevant at this point. But what that summary says is, 11 political candidates and 13 political staff members were assessed to be either implicated in or impacted by this group of threat actors. The term threat actors, CSIS explained in the document, refers to officials associated with the government in Beijing working, quote, covertly to advance China's interests through Canadian democratic institutions. The information put before the inquiry by CSIS said seven candidates from the Liberal Party of Canada and four candidates from the Conservative Party of Canada were allegedly implicated. CSIS's assessment was that the $250,000 from China was possibly for, quote, foreign interference-related purposes, though most likely not in an attempt to covertly fund the 11 candidates. The CSIS intelligence summary the inquiry now has says the money was transferred via, quote, an influential community leader to the staff member of a 2019 federal election candidate and then to an Ontario MPP. And those, Donna, are all the details that CSIS would put on the public record today before the inquiry. But the judge heading that inquiry, Marie-José Rogue, she also has access to all the secret intelligence that could not be released as she considers what to put in her first report on this matter. It's due May the 3rd. Donna. And David, where are these documents coming from? How is it we know what CSIS was looking at? The original documents are still highly classified. They are not being publicly released at this point. So while CSIS is not <coughs> disclosing how they got this information or what exactly it looked like, they are releasing these high-level summaries of their intelligence analysis. This information uh, never would have seen the light of day without a public inquiry, and there is still more information that we don't know, secret details the Commission will look at behind closed doors. Donna? Okay, David in Ottawa, thank you.